I was born in Mexico uh, in 1966. I grew up there until I was uh, 18 years old. I'm the 10th of 11, so I was second to the last kid. My dad, you know, he, he went to second grade school in Mexico, so he didn't have much of an expectation, you know, for college. He would expect me to find a job and, you know, stay in, in a job. And my family, as millions of families of Mexican Americans that migrate back and forth to the United States, my parents, my, my father particularly, had been, uh, you know, coming and going to the U.S. Uh, ever since I remember before I was born. You know, the expectations of me to go through school or to go to college was almost non-existent. And yes, my father, I mean, my father actually was thinking that I, you know, being a mechanic would have been a good life. I did work the fields with him for a few, you know, a couple of my first years uh, in the summers. I was also working in a tire shop uh, with Mr. Frank Kuma in Rubido. And uh, I was there doing tires with him. And, and I thought, well, maybe I can ask a, him for a full-time job. But I still had the, 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 uh, the desire to learn more. I have one brother that uh, he went to school in Mexico. He was a teacher. He was probably the biggest influence that I have in terms of, uh, you know, education. Mainly the reason why I wasn't thinking of college at that point was because I just thought it was too hard, you know, having to learn English and having to learn the subject matters of any, any college class at the same time. How can you learn it if you don't understand it? I still remember, you know, walking to the quad here at RCC, seeing all the students, you know, I was, of course, extremely nervous. It was a, a time of, of learning for me, you know. I felt uh, the excitement of, and the, the challenge of learning all these uh, new things for me. And I think that was the building block for my confidence to, to make me realize that, yeah, I could do things. Remarkable thing of his story is it reminds all of us of what the mission of this college is. Because uh, all it would take is one rude or condescending professor and he might have just walked out the door. But instead he got somebody that you know, gave him a helping hand and mentored him and made a big difference in his life. Professor Wiley went that extra step. He was a very rigorous teacher. A C in his class would have been academic success. <laughs> if it wasn't for him, things could have been very different for me. You know, uh, Maybe I would have still been, become a doctor, but maybe not. You know, or Maybe I could have still uh, gone through my education the way I did. But I think probably not, you know, because he took the time to, you know, uh, it was more about making you feel that you can do this. He's the one who told me one day, you know, right when I met him and he's like, you know, what do you want to do when you, you know, what do you want to do? Uh, you're going to become a teacher or what are you going to do? And that's around the time when I thought maybe I could be a doctor. Um, and that, you know, and, and why? Because just, I just love the, the, the idea of being a doctor. He goes, okay, from now on, every morning, I want you to wake up and, you know, when you are looking yourself in the mirror for the first time in the morning, say, good morning, doctor, yourself. That he really had this deep desire to be a, a doctor. And he was just willing to put in all those extra hours to achieve it which I think should have a lot of meaning because we get a lot of students come to our college in the same situation. Poor language skills, uh, you know, poor educational background. And his story shows that they can achieve. It takes hard work and dedication, but it can be done. I have been able to, to fulfill what I have wanted to do. You know, I'm chair of my department in infectious disease there, you know, at a big uh, medical group by all measure, you know, I'm successful, I have family, wonderful wife. I don't think I'm that special. I don't think that anybody with dedication and, 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 and motivation can go through this journey as well. You know, I, I, in that regard, I'm not that different. I'm not that special. I'm, I don't consider myself a very smart person. I consider myself a very hardworking person that I, you know, if I see what it need takes for me to get from point A to point B, I, I really going to give 100%. So in that regard, you know, anybody can do it. But am, am I special? Yes. But if we are all in our own rights, you know, to somehow 
you know, we got to be proud of what we do. Hopefully. He just worked hard and succeeded. And I think uh, he's just a role model for a lot of our students. It really is. We can't forget the values of this country. And he exemplifies what this country can do. Thank you.